Okay, so welcome everybody to the first session. It's really exciting um, to have our first session of Thrive TV this morning for you. Um, we're going to do about half an hour with you this morning, just a little taster session really, just to see how we go, how, our, um, how we're feeling with our exercises and um, we're going to try out um, a couple of exercises for you as well this morning. And I'm really, really sorry guys that this morning, my dog has been really quiet all morning and has now decided to just chew something in the background. So it's a thing, isn't it, at the moment that if we're using um, technology, we've all got these things going on in the background. So apologies for that if you do hear a bit of disturbance there. So let's go on and see what we're going to do. So we're going to be active this morning, hopefully. We're all raring to go. It's a lovely sunny day out there as well this morning and the birds are really noisy this morning, which is a lovely, lovely sound to hear. Um, I've got a few slides to show you. My screen decides to play. There we go. So we are um, talking this morning and, and kind of thinking about how we can stay active and why we want to do that. Um, I'm going to show you some exercises that um, here at AGK, Earl of White, we've worked with um, a lovely chap here called Stephen McElville, who is the fitness lead at, at Nuffield Health, and he's helped us to create some of these really simple but really effective aerobic exercises that are going to help you to stay active, because I think over the last kind of year now, hasn't it, gosh, it's just seems an age, doesn't it, that perhaps being active hasn't been so easy for some of us, has it? So spending more time at home um, makes it a little bit harder for us to get out and about and be active. But these kinds of uh, exercises that we're going to do and start to do over the next few weeks might be something that will fill that void and get you back being active, moving more, get your muscles working and um, building that strength back up into your into the muscles and to, to improve our general well-being and health as well. So um, hopefully we'll be able to move up to doing a few more exercises in these sessions. But we're just going to start off really nice and slowly and do what you can do and what you feel comfortable doing. So with all exercise, don't push yourself too much. Just start slowly and do little bits here and there and push yourself as much as you feel that you can. So don't feel that you have to do anything that doesn't feel comfortable to you and trust your instincts so you know your body and you know your limits. So we're not going to be standing here <laughs> expecting you to do all of these different things and uh, you know, looking at you through the video and saying, no, come on, let's go, we, we can do this. Um, if you uh, have seen any of the adverts for some of the fitness apps that are out there, um, that, that's not what we're gonna be, do <laughs> be doing. We're very gentle. Um, we, we're not um, gonna be there, you know, hard taskmasters. It's just a very, very lighthearted um, session that we're going to do. So obviously stop if you do feel any pain and if you feel lightheaded and make sure that you stay hydrated as well. So I've got my glass of water there. Um, if you haven't been active, it might be that you do feel a little bit of soreness in your muscles and joints after, after doing these exercises and that's quite normal as well. Um, so just enjoy it, I guess. Um, as we move on and have a look at what we're actually going to do. So that's the main thing, isn't it? So a big smile and enjoy what we're doing. Um, it's going to help those endorphins and those good feelings as well that we, we want to, to happen as well as, as the benefits for our muscles, it's going to benefit for, the, for our well-being as well. So this is what we're going to do today. So this is our first simple exercise, it's our chair squats. Um, it's going to strengthen our lower bodies, okay? And it's... It, I think it's quite a nice one to start with, really, because we are sitting down. We are um, obviously spending a lot of time just sat, perhaps watching or TV or reading or some kind of activity like that, that. That means that we're sitting down. But being able to lift ourselves up and down out of that position is going to be really beneficial. So these chair squats um, are, a, are almost something that you can put into your daily routine quite easily. And as you can see, it is really just pulling yourself up out of the chair and then lowering yourself down. And I'll show you a little video before we go into that, exactly how we do that. Um, and here are the kind of guidelines um, for you written down as well. So as it says there, we're just gonna stand in front of the chair 
um, your feet as far apart as your hips. Um, we're going to then bend our knees, um, keeping our shoulders and chest upright and then lowering ourselves down into the seating position on the chair. And then if we can, we're going to push ourselves back up and we try not to use our hands. So I've kept mine out straight in the video. Um, but obviously, if you need to use your hands and you just need to have that to keep yourself steady, then then please you know, do that as well. If you can't pull yourself or push yourself all the way down into the chair, just bending your legs as well, just at the start of this activity, that's going to be really beneficial until you can push yourself down a little bit further. So if I show you to start with um, the video of, of, of um, how we would do this exercise. There we go. So we're going to repeat five times with this one to start with. Okay, so if we go back three, you can see I'm standing, got my legs apart, hip width, and then I'm just going to lower myself down gently. So if you didn't feel that you could, you could just do that action then, just bending your knees slightly, and that would be enough for that exercise this morning. So who feels they want to get started and do a few of these exercises? There we go, standing apart and lowering ourselves down. That's one, two, Okay, I'm going slightly fast, so I will just pause it then. Okay, and you take your time if you need to. Three, four, and five. Okay, how was that? Did that feel okay? Yeah, brilliant. Thanks for the thumbs up there. That's really great. Okay, so maybe have a sip of water, give yourselves a little shake, and we're gonna try and do that one again. And um, it is good to try and do this perhaps between two and five times in the repeat, just to build up your strength. You might only do it two times and then building up to five times. So if we get ready then, okay, we're gonna go one, two, Three, four, and five. Okay. How was that? Let's see some thumbs up again down the side. Fab, fab, fab. Thank you. That's great. So, do we want to try it again? Or it's up to you. We could do another one if you're feeling that you want to do another one. If you want to do three, if two is enough for you today, that's absolutely fine. Um, as I say, it's good to build that up to five times um, for each, each of the, um, the repeats. So that's our chair squat. We go back and I'll show you again. Okay, chair squats to strengthen the muscles of the lower body. And it's gonna help your joints to move around as well. And what this is gonna do is to also, because you're using those muscles and the muscles are beginning to kind of have that memory, that muscle memory of the exercise. It's going to keep you steadier on your feet as well. And that's what we really want to happen as well. When we're sitting down for longer periods of time, our muscles do lose those memories of movement. And that's when perhaps falls and trips can happen. So just doing these exercises is actually going to be really beneficial for staying steady as well as building the muscles as well and keeping healthy and that mindfulness as well. Okay, we're not going to look at that. So we've done the R repetitions for today. So if you'd like to watch the video again, just to, re to um, refresh your memory on what we did this morning, and um, perhaps you want to do it tomorrow morning, watch again on your own, that's great. 
Um, the link here is to our YouTube channel and this is our YouTube channel here. So if you subscribe, you'll find all the videos that we um, take during our sessions. They'll all go up here. You can see our uh, couple of taster sessions that we've already got up there. Okay, so that's where you'll find this recording. And there we go. We go down to um, where we'll find more of the same as well. So if you liked doing this video and you want to actually move ahead, we're going to do another couple of exercises next week. This here is where you can find those and you can actually do some homework and we'll see how you get on next week. So the next one here is going to be an upper body exercise called the stalk and all of these other ones here are down here. Snow angels, that looks good. So we'll come on to those in the coming weeks and um, hopefully we will do some more excellent exercise and keep you all fit and healthy. So thank you ever so much for coming along today. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow for Meet the Romans. That's gonna be really great. And on Friday, we're gonna be doing some craft. So if we don't see you um, for those sessions, we'll see you next week. And uh, hopefully we'll have some excellent exercises for you and some good content coming up in the next few weeks as well. So thank you ever so much. And we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.